Hey guys, I was just sitting here putting these connectors. These are DuPont connectors. Um, they go in a little socket like that. And I was just sitting here putting these on to this little project here. And I thought I would just go ahead and do a video about DuPont connectors. How to do them yourself because they're really nice. They're nice little things. So here's a DuPont connector. I know that it's going to be hard to see this because this is really small stuff okay but this is a DuPont connector the nice thing about them if you've been around computers much uh, you you probably see them inside because motherboards like this uh, this is a junked junked up Raspberry Pi but motherboards have these connectors and they can fit on just like that see so you got the the header is usually on the motherboard and then you've got this the female socket that will plug on there now the spacing on DuPont connectors is um, standard motherboard type spacing which is 0.1 inch or 2.54 centimeters okay now I've used these things for a long time if you see some of my projects you might see something like that um, you know, so uh, standard jumpers fit on the um, 2.54 millimeter or 0.1 inch uh, headers spacing. And, and these things also fit on there. So that's what I, I use these for. Let me see if I can uh, see those go in and then these can just plug into whatever I need to. And then that's what I was doing here. I was just adding these and they'll fit into this plug and then I can plug it into different things. Okay, now the cool thing about these and the reason I've been using them for a long time, even though I didn't know how to do what I'm about to show you, is that they are um, sort of reusable. So I would collect these things when I was younger. I collect them and you can stick something in like that that just pulls right out so basically you're pushing that wire down in and then this we get in the center here get the light on that see that how that lifts up like that so it just can it catches on there and holds it in so if you stick something in there gently lift it up can pull your wire out okay so I used to collect those wires up and use them and then I put them back in the plugs which is really easy just like that and use them for my different projects and that sort of thing but then I realized you know there's got to be a way to do that and there is and so I bought the supplies I want to show you what the deal is with that. So, what you're going to need is to get some of these. Now, these are, let me make sure I'm focused here. There we go. These are the females, female clips, like that one we just did there that fits on a header like this. And then these are actually uh, male ends, so they crimp on the same way, but instead of having the the socket, they have this pin, so they, you know, things will fit together like that, okay? So you can get either one. Now, you buy these things like this. They come on a long roll. You can get them on eBay, 100 at a time for a dollar or something like that maybe less ship them from China they're they're really inexpensive actually there's some people that will ship them from the US and then uh, for you know they're, they're really cheap and then you need some housings like this I keep uh, fours say that holds four and twos on hand I also have some ones I don't know where they are at the moment but they just come in bags usually you get them in a bag of a hundred and they're a dollar or something like that so they're pretty inexpensive and they can make your projects a lot neater okay so those are your basic supplies then you're going to need 
you know, just a pair of wire cutters. I use this pair of strippers. Now this, you, you set the, the size of the hole that you want to strip. And so for this real small wire that I'm using, I don't even know if you can see, teeny, teeny little hole there. You know, but you're going to need some kind of strippers. If you try to do it by hand, it it's tedious and you usually cut your wires. So, a little pair of strippers. And then these are the crimpers. Now, you can spend a lot of money for these things. They make, uh, you know, $30, $40, $50 pairs. Uh, they have this ratchet, all kind of ratchet crazy stuff, but... I bought these for $8, I think, from a guy in Florida, bought them off eBay, and they're really nice. And, you know, it just doesn't take much force to squeeze these things. So, um, I did buy another pair off eBay from Thailand or someplace. I think it was Thailand. And they advertised 26 to 28 gauge. Now, this is some kind of standard tool, this SK202A, you see that a lot on eBay, and it has many functions, but look how big that hole is. That's a big gap in there, and they just don't work very well for this, okay? Whereas these, on the 28 size, see how small that is? Really crimps it down the right way, okay? So those are the ones, these are the ones that we'll use. Now, the way these things work, let me see if I can get a, a close-up on here. I don't know how close we can look. Okay, these have different parts. So, the tab part right here, this part, this wraps around the insulation of the wire. So, this is your, sort of your mechanical connection. So this wraps around tight on the wire itself. And then these two tabs right here, those tabs crimp down on the wire itself. Okay, let's turn it this way. All right. These wrap around the insulated part of the wire and then these crimp down on the bare wire, make the connection. So this is for strength, this is for the connection. All right, now the way that works, I'm gonna show you this big pair, okay? So in this case, this, do you see this kind of W-shaped part? That is what crimps those things together. Um, so you'll see that we'll put it in there, but those that W-shaped part in there, that's what bends the crimp around, and then it crimps right down the middle to hold the wire in tightly. Okay, so the wings face into this portion, and then the back is against here. And so we're going to put the wings into here. This will push on the back, and we'll stick the wire in and crimp it together. Another thing you want to look for, though, is that the piece with the wings, the part with the wings, that goes, that goes on this part. That's what crimps the wire, okay? And then there'll be a smooth side. So a lot of these, see how this is made out of two pieces of metal here? So there's a smooth side, and then there's the W-shaped crimping side. All right, now on this one, it's the same thing, but it's so small. So that's the smooth side, I believe. Nope, I'm wrong. This is the smooth side. Okay, so this is the smooth side. And this, this layer of metal crimps around the insulated wire. And then on this side, see how much smaller it is? That crimps on the uh, uninsulated wire really crimps down and smashes it. You can just barely see the the W shape in there. It's on the top piece. Okay. Now when we do this, we're going to start out, I'm going to finish with that 28, but I'm going to start out here. So I'll start out here, I'll get it crimped, and then I'll do that. Okay. Just to finish it off. Okay. So let's get ready. 
first thing we got to do is get ourselves one of these. Get these. Well, come at it from this direction. So I'm not trying to cut the whole thing. There we go. All right, so we got one of these, and then we'll get our wire that we're going to strip. I, I was already did this, but I'll just start all over. So I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm going to strip back. The way I like to do it is I'm going to strip back about double what I want. Okay, so there's stripped it back double pretty small wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and twist it like that and then I'm going to pinch it with my fingernail and bend it in half. Okay, That's going to give us double the wire into the crimp. Okay, Now here is the way it's going to look. It's going to be hard to see once we get in there. See, that's going to lay in there like that. You see that? So, those first wings are going to go around the insulation. The second wings are going to go around the wire, or the bare wire, and make our connection. Alright? So, let's get ready. Now, to get started, see, I'm going to put the wings... See that? I'm going to smash them down a little bit. Now I know, just from working with this, that if this is flush on this side, then on this side, where it's going to crimp the wire, let me see if we can even see that, but it's going to be just in the right position. Okay? See that? Where, where the second set of wings is under this plate, first set of wings is under that plate. Okay? So here's what we do. Get it flush, get it started, everything in position where we want it. And then I'm going to take the wire and try to do this where you guys where you can see it. Uh, I have to reach around here. Okay, so oh now I'm in the light. Alright, let's see if I think you can see that. Okay, there it goes. The wire's in there. And then I look on this side, and I know that if I can just barely see the wire coming out, which, let's see, I can't, I can't tell if you can see that in the video. The wire's just barely coming out, and I'm going to crimp it down. All right, now that's just a preliminary crimp, but let's look at it. Okay, you see the long tabs, let me check the focus here, alright, the long tabs are wrapped around the insulated wire, and then the short tabs, right there, are crimped down on the uninsulated wire, so there's our connection, and there's the strength part of it, okay, so now that I've got that, Let's see, got to turn it around this way. Normally, I, I wouldn't have completely taken it out of there. Whoops, that's backwards. All right, here we go. Now that we got that, going to finish it off with that 28. All right, there you go. So that's finished off. And then if we were going to insert it into one of these to use later, you insert it with this catch part up, not the smooth. See, the back is the smooth part. So we're going to do it with the front. The catch part up. We're going to insert it in there. There we go. There's a DuPont connector. Cool beans.